New at six, abortion funds are quickly growing. Federal law does not require medical plans to cover services, and states, like Texas, limit abortion access. There is a grassroots effort in San Antonio to provide on-the-ground resources for women wanting an abortion. Alicia Barrera spoke to the head of the organization called Buckle Bunnies and talked about the support they're getting following that Supreme Court draft leak. Donations continue to pour in. We've raised a little over, I think, $8,000 in the past week, which is amazing. Buckle Bunnies is a San Antonio-based abortion fund established back in 2020 by Michaela Montoya Frazier. But during SBA, we raised over, I think it was almost $100,000. They've helped about 1,700 people. And while San Antonio is home to two abortion clinics, she says many people have had to travel out of state raising the cost of abortion. We're seeing it raise up to about 13,000, 15,000 is the highest that it's gone. But that's because people are getting abortions later because they don't have a choice. They have to save up the money, save up the time off work, child care. Which is where abortion funds like hers step in. Help people with the airfare, with child care, with rides, spending money on gas, we're spending money on food, um, just so that people know that they are taken care of completely. And she also provides free reproductive health services that include the morning after pill to anyone in need. And education is another key mission for Buckle Bunnies. And this week, their biggest lesson to the community has been that abortion is still legal in Texas, at least through May, as SCOTUS has not made a final decision. Reporting Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.